my name's Mandy and welcome to my YouTube channel Picketty Stitch Life is So Creative. Today I'm going to talk to you about my plans for a 4x4 capsule wardrobe. Uh, can I ask you please if you haven't already subscribed could you please take the time to subscribe by tapping the subscribe button and the little bell so that you're reminded every time I upload a vlog. So I was going to try and get this vlog um, filmed on Friday but um, for the Friday shows uh, but things got in the way I'm afraid so um, yeah it is Sunday the 27th of June so it'll have to be a Sunday shows. So what have I been up to? Well I'm wearing my Myrna dress by Seamwork. Um, now for those of you who are a little bit curvy this is a perfect sew. Uh, you've probably seen me wearing this dress last year. It is a staple in my wardrobe, I must admit. Um, the fabric uh, was some fabric I purchased from Sew Over It quite a while ago now. Um, it was called Cucka, Cuckoo Bomber, that's what they call this fabric. Um, but sometimes when I'm browsing the odd uh, fabric websites, I do still see this up for uh, sale. So, um, yeah, it's a beautiful... Uh, crepe so if I just stand off I can just show you a little bit there's it doesn't show you so much the detail here so we will insert a photograph but all the skirt has got panels is made up of panels so it gives you a lovely flare and I must admit it is very flattering so yeah <laughs> Right, okay, why have I decided to make a capsule wardrobe? Well, this one is going to be focused on a scarf. So I've just put my glasses on. So last Christmas, no, it wasn't last Christmas. I, th I think it was nearly, I bet this is two years ago now and I've never even wore it. I wanted a silk scarf as a treat one Christmas and I said to my partner, you go on the website, this is the website I want you to go on, and I want you to choose me a scarf. So, you know, he did. <laughs> so this is Aspinalls of London. Okay, so I'm just going to take it out of the box and show you this beautiful scarf. Comes all really posh. Partially wrapped. Now, this, do you know, I know you have to, you know, you have your tag on. It does really annoy me, that does, because when you, you come to wear it, you can always see the tag. And I know that's the idea, but that's the only thing I'd say was the, buying these scarves. Or Ashley used to do it. So this is, oh, I've got it the wrong way around now. This is the actual silk scarf, which I think is absolutely beautiful. So if I bring it up a little bit closer, you can see these beautiful colours and they're like a navy blue and teal. And for those of you who watch my floss tube, I'm doing a large cover, um, full coverage cross stitch peach, uh, piece with which tend to have these colours in it because these are my favourite colours these bluey greens but um, yeah the tig uh, the lions are very majestic and I've got this beautiful peacock and then obviously a lion in the middle and yeah, that's the silk scarf. So then it's edged in this beautiful gold colour. So you can see the main sort of colours I'm picking out here are these teals, bronzes, yeah, and navy. I have never wore this scarf because this is one of the problems I have when I make my own clothes. 
is that I tend to browse through um, different online fabric shops, see a fabric and think, oh, I like that. And then I go and purchase it. And that's why I've got a huge stack of fabrics in there, a huge stash, because I'm looking at the pretty colours and I'm not being practical whatsoever. And so I'll have things in my wardrobe, which yeah, I love, but I've got nothing to wear them with. So, for instance, I'll make a dress and then it's quite a chilly day and I've got no cardigan or jacket to put with it. So I'm decided now that instead of just going and looking on these fabric online shops and just buying any fabric, I've decided to be a little bit more savvy with how I choose um, my clothes I'm going to make and the actual fabric. So, yeah, he's... Oh, some little cups there as well. So, of course, he's... One of his complaints is, my partner, is I've, you went mad for the scarf and you're not wearing it. And I keep trying to explain that I've got nothing to go with it. So I've decided that I'm going to design my capsule wardrobe around this scarf. So what do you think about that? So I'm thinking the main colours really here for me are navy because when I make clothes as well I have to think about the style and how it's going to suit me as well. I do apologise, my glasses are glinting away. So when I decide, I'm taking my glasses off, they were glary. So when I design, um, when I, when I decide to make a garment, I also have to consider how that garment is going to look on me as well. Is it going to suit me because of my ample figure? So, you know, these are the things that we have to think about when we go and purchase ready to wear. We always go and try them on. Does it suit me? No, that doesn't. And, you know, you haven't got that luxury when you're making clothes. So, so I've decided that like I say, I'm going to design my 4x4 wardrobe around this beautiful Aspinilla London scarf. So then at least I'll have a few outfits I can wear this with. So I'm looking at the colours and I can see straight away that navy is a main colour and this beautiful I can this is picking up a lot to me as well as beautiful turquoisey teal color and I think as well the bronze the beautiful bronzes in the lions just look at those lion cubs there I'll bring those a bit closer so you can see as well I've decided and I'm going to use the same template again I used last time and it's one called the Vivian files and I'll pop a link and down below to this website because she does a lot of flat lays as well to show you how different combinations can go together but there's also this template which I have gone and printed off and it's called the 4x4 wardrobe and she does actually suggest that if you have a scarf you can actually design your wardrobe around the scarf which is what I'm doing so the first thing she says is that you have a first core of four which is a top and it's preferably a cardigan or a jacket so what I've decided to do is to pick two neutral colors okay so my neutral colors are actually going to be the navy And I'm thinking maybe as well this bronze colour. As you can see, there's quite a lot of bronze in there as well. So that's what I'm thinking. Now I know a lot of people don't always think brown and blue goes together. But I'm thinking if I keep it this caramelly bronze shade and the navy I think I'll be all right so 
those are going to be my main two colours, the navy and the bronze, okay. And it says the first four is a top, which is either a cardigan or a jacket. And I've decided I'm going to have a jacket. Um, and then it says top, bottom, bottom. So my bottoms, I've got lots of skirts. So I'm thinking I'm going to be a little bit braver and actually make some trousers. I have made trousers before. I've never made them with a fly. So that's one thing I might be looking at. Uh, but usually the the carry style, you know, from so over it with an elasticated back, that sort of style I tend to uh, make because I find them a little bit easier to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you this in a little bit more detail. Uh, but to start me off, I thought I'd show you a top I made quite a while ago now. I don't think I've showcased this one. I, I might have done. Um, but I just wanted to show you my idea. So this will be one of the tops in the 4x4 wardrobe. This one is the Clara Top by Sew Over It. Um, and the fabric is it's like a satin. And I purchased this from a shop in Florida when I was on holiday there years ago. So, um, but I mean, you can get satin from most places, can't you? So this was a lovely top to make and especially, uh, I think it's my middle daughter, she has a problem with tops bagging out here. So this is a great top to make if you've got a bit of a problem there because you've got these darts and you could increase the darts, the depth of them uh, to compensate for that bagging out. But um, I made no alterations to this. What I will do is I think I might make another one of these as well for this four before. But what I would do is I think I might omit the cuffs because the cuffs are quite big. Which they're meant to be a bit of a feature. But they do remind me of the old 80s. <laughs> when we used to have these big cuffs. And I've popped on two silver buttons what was from my mum's collection so um so yeah this um i was quite pleased with this make it's um a loop buttonhole so those are nice and simple to do and it's got a beautiful if i turn around it's got a beautiful keyhole um fastening at the back and I've popped on the matching button to the cuffs and it's nice and loose here as well so it's quite um, comfortable now I'm not very good at dressing up scarves oh, this is something else I'm going to have to learn how to do but I'm just thinking that with a blue jacket that would look quite nice I don't know what you think but um, yeah, as you can see, the tie that bronze is matching this. So what I'm going to do first of all is check my existing wardrobe, okay, for clothes, because um, I don't want to be making more if I've already got something similar. Um, and like I say, this was already in my wardrobe, so this will be included in my um, plans, okay. So one thing I definitely do need is a navy blue jacket and I wanted it to stretch because I want it to take me through into autumn and also to, because we're coming out of lockdown now, I have put some lockdown weight on so I'm thinking with a, a stretch fabric it's, you know, it'll still fit me if you know what I mean, if it's a little bit tight at the beginning as I lose weight it'll still fit me so that's what I'm thinking now I did have this pattern and I'll pop in a link in at the end of this video to the jackets I made and this is the B uh, Butterick 5926 which is a lovely jacket but with it being a notch collar I find with jeers you know with the Pontaroma it can be a little bit bulky so I am looking to make 
um, a different jacket this time. Now I'm a little bit um, of a toss up here between the blazer. Or the Morris blazer by Grainline Studios. So this is the first fabric I've purchased and this is a navy blue Pontaroma okay and I purchased this from Sew Over It so that is definitely going to be my first make okay and if I put this against that you can see the look I'm going for I think it, I can't wait I think it looks lovely it feels a really good quality as well this does really good so so once I've made that jacket and I've already got a top I think I'm on my I'm well on my way there to one outfit at least so I've also decided because it's so it was so hot the other day and I went out with my daughter and she says mum you look so hot and I just got pair of black trousers on and it was really warm so i've decided and i've made these before i'm going to make the simplicity easy to sew so obviously there were these ones now i am going to make sure because i don't know why but when you make trousers okay if you're a bigger size here then it these don't, doesn't change at the bottom they're still a big size so i'm going to be making some alterations to the pattern so this is a little bit you know there isn't as much width at the bottom but um, i'm definitely going to make these and i've already purchased the fabric so this is some fabric i purchased from stitchy b and she always wraps her parcels really beautifully um, she always puts some ribbon in which I always save because I make cards and this is her card and then she always hand writes the back and I just think it's such a personal touch it's lovely and then this beautiful wrapping paper and this is what I've purchased. I'll show you the white jersey in a moment. But to make those trousers, I brought this navy cotton twill. So, it's got a bit of stretch in it as well. Which is useful. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm thinking the navy trousers looks a bit like a scoutmaster, doesn't it? <laughs> I need a waggle there. But anyhow, um, these are um, my next. So that'll be my next make. So hopefully um, in a couple of weeks time, I'll have some trousers and a jacket just to show you. Um, the first part of making this lovely capsule wardrobe so I'm not just going to make my capsule wardrobe over the next few weeks I am going to make other articles as well other garments as well but I also bought a couple of meters of the perfect jersey I have bought the perfect jersey from her before in the pale pink I think I bought some grey as well but this is absolutely beautiful um, to sew with and to wear. So this is the perfect jersey. And I thought I might make a long sleeve top. And although I've got patterns, lots of patterns, but for t-shirts and tops and things, I thought I might purchase um, a I think I forgot what the name of the top is but I'll put it in but it's by Cashmerette and I like the idea of the long sleeve with the tab but um, we'll see how we go but there we go beautiful white jersey 
I'm not just going to stick to the capsule wardrobe because I was so hot the other week and we're going to have another hot summer I think this July and August I want to be prepared and it's also useful to make garments for your holidays so again it's these trousers and I'm looking at making them out of this beautiful chambray I purchased from Fabric Godmother so I'll bring that a bit closer and you can see more of the colour okay so I mean I don't think it would go with that sort of thing because it's a chambray but I just thought you know I need something cool to wear and then I also bought I couldn't resist it this beautiful it's like um I think it's a lawn actually I'm not sure but it's a cotton anyhow and this is the pattern it's got these lovely flamingos on so yeah I thought I'd be able to make another Clara top maybe something really loose and comfortable although looking at this I'm thinking maybe the Sylvian robe but I don't think I've ordered enough now but um, definitely Let's put it that way so it's the right way up definitely i thought i'd make another clara top which would go with the chambray uh, trousers so that's my sewing plans for the capsule wardrobe anyhow over the next two weeks um so when i next see you hopefully i'll have a nice pair of trousers to show you and a nice jacket and uh, let you see what it looks like with my clara top okay and then the following vlog i will be looking at making the next um line of the core four so um yeah and it's saying a cardigan or preferably a jacket another neutral top and two bottoms so that's good because I need plenty of uh, trousers and skirts and things because um, yeah I've been tending to make a lot of dresses you see so it'll be nice to be able to have things what go together so yeah so next time I see you hopefully I'll have some new garments to show you um, and my next lot of plans to um, make this capsule wardrobe so um yeah there'll be some news on the evolution of that and um, next week i'm hoping to upload a floss tube video as you know i enjoy cross stitch and quilting so there'll be some news on jolly july plans and progress and um yeah and how i'm getting on with my summer quilt so until then Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Bye.